Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, hopefully it's working right now. I've had some trouble with my technology lately, but surely you can hear me right now. Well, of course you can if uh, it's uploaded. Anyways, this is Dark Dragon Does Math. We are doing operations with rational numbers, also known as fractions. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this in my own handwriting, negative 2 over 7. And um, that is blurry. It might get unblurry soon. There we go. Negative 2 over 7. And then I see this is plus a negative number. That's the same thing as subtracting. So I'm going to go ahead and write sub subtract 3 over 5. So we're going to do this, um, this problem. Uh, it's subtracting, adding and subtracting, you always have to find a common denominator, no matter what. So usually we look for the LCM. Uh, that's especially easy to find when you're working with two numbers that are prime, because it's just going to be multiply each other. Um, so anyways, the LCM of 7 and 5 is actually 35. So I'm going to rewrite this, make sure that I keep the negatives. It's, um, okay, and so to make 7 into 35, I would multiply both numbers times 5, so 5 times 2 is 10. Uh, to make 5 into 35, multiply by 7, so I'll multiply this by 7. 7 times 3 is 21, uh, so this is negative minus another number, so the final answer is going to be negative, and anytime they're the same sign, it's like I'm adding them together, so this is basically like negative 31 over 35. So that's the first one. Um, the second one, again, I want to rewrite it just because it makes me feel better. Well, actually, before I do that, I've got two uh, mixed number fractions. Mixed numbers are fine, but they are super hard to deal with when you're working with it, um, when you're working with operations, uh, multiplying, dividing, subtracting. It doesn't matter. You probably don't want it to be in a mixed number, so I'm going to make it an improper fraction first. So I'm going to do 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1, which is 4. So that's 4 thirds. Um, and I know that's negative, and it's an addition of a negative number, so that's like subtracting. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 6. Um, and this, I've just made it a lot easier to deal with. So now I want to get a common denominator. 3 does go into 6, so the common denominator is going to be 6. So I go ahead and write it like that, um, and then just fill it in. So to make 3, 6, I would multiply by 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And 13 is already over 6, so I don't have to do anything there. These are opposite numbers. It's 8 minus a 13. So if you wanted to write it like this, maybe that helps you. 8 minus 13. Well, 8 minus 13 is negative 5. So it's negative 5 over 6, just like that. Um, this one right here, we have multiple. Uh, so my best advice to doing this one is basically do that first. Um, and it makes things a little bit easier. You don't have to do it that way. Uh, but I think that might cut down on some of the anxiety, I guess. So let's just do 5 and 15 first. So 2 fifths, that's a negative 4 fifths. So that's like subtracting 4 over 4 fifteenths. All right, so find a common denominator that's going to be 15. So 15 minus something over 15. To make 5 to 15, we'd multiply by 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. And this is already over 15, so that's going to be 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. So that's 2 fifteenths. All right. So that's what this first part was. So now let's subtract 10. So uh, I'm going to do 2 fifteenths minus 1 tenth. I still have to find a common denominator. Um, which is going to be 30. Uh, 15 times 2 is 30. So 2 times 2 is 4. And 10 times 3 is 30. So 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So the answer here is 1 30th. Uh, which you can't see. 1 30th. All right. Great. Uh, work these problems on your own. And on the back, we have a word problem, everybody's fave. Mr. Dawson, Dawson has a partial roll of wire 
18 and one fourth foot long. So this is what he has. Um, and he needs 25 and a half feet of wire. Um, so how many feet of wire is he short? So basically, um, he has 25 and one half. He needs, or excuse me, he needs 25 and one half, and he has 18 and one fourth. So he's short a certain amount, and we can find that by subtracting. All right. The first thing I want to do when I'm subtracting two numbers is uh, two fractions is to make sure they're both at least in improper form. So two times twenty-five is fifty. Fifty plus one is fifty-one over two. Four times eighteen is seventy-two plus one makes that seventy-three over four, and that's a n subtraction. Find a common denominator. Uh, which will be 4. 2 to make 4 would be multiplied by 2. So 2 times 51 is 102. And then 73 is already over 4. And now we just have to subtract. Okay, So uh, I'm going to do this like 102 minus 3 is 99. 99 minus 70 is 29. So 29 over 4. And you can leave it like that, and I'm fine. I'm fine with this answer. Some people, that bothers them. So if you still would like to write that as 7 and 1 fourth, be my guest. Just make sure that we know that it's a word problem. So it's, we need a unit. It's feet. 7 and 1 fourth feet or 29 over 4 feet. Either way is fine. That's all you. All right, let's do this one down here. So first thing we're multiplying in most cases multiplying is harder than addition but not when it comes to fraction multiplication is actually very much simpler so first thing I want to do is I want to write them over one another or write them like this it just makes my uh, my math easier to do um, now the first thing that I'm ever going to do when I'm multiplying two fractions is to look to see if anything cancels um, because it's these are smaller numbers than what you're going to get after you multiply um, and it just makes simplifying the fractions a little bit easier. Um, and I look closely and I see that, you know, 3 does go into 15. So basically if I divided both those numbers by 3, if I divided 15 by 3, I would get 5. If I divided 3 by 3, I would get... What? Did I just simplify my fraction a little bit? Sorry, I'm tired. I'm doing this in the morning. Uh, audio didn't work last night. The biggest thing, though, is that was negative 3. Make sure you write that negative there because um, you, you're liable to miss it and forget about it. So we multiply straight across. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. 7 times 5 is 35. And because I've already reduced, I know that's done. It's reduced as far as it goes, so we're good. So this problem right here, negative 3 and 1 fourth um, times negative uh, negative two and two-thirds. The first thing I want to do is I want to write these as improper fractions. So four times negative three is twelve plus one is negative thirteen over four. Three times two is six plus two is eight. So that's negative eight over three and we're multiplying if you want to do this step now, notice this is a negative number times a negative number. So this is like 13 fourths times 8 thirds. The negatives kind of cancel each other out. <laughs> and I'm sorry, this is not my best quality video, but it is all that I can do right now. Um, okay, so now I'm going to look for things that simplify. 13 and 3 won't simplify, uh, but 4 will go into 8. So 4 will go into itself one time, and 4 will go into 8 twice. So that simplifies it. 13 times 2 is 26, and then 1 times 3 is 3, okay? You can leave it like that. I'm joyful if you get that. Or if you'd like, 3 does go into 26 8 times, and what's left over is 2 thirds. So either one of these, and I'm great. So, awesome. The, all right, so two more, two more, and then I'll be done. Uh, these are division, okay, which are honestly very similar to multiplication because honestly what we're doing is we're going to take the division problem, we're going to make it a multiplication problem. Um, and usually when we think about division of fractions, you start getting hungry for fried chicken. Um, we say KCF. 
um, keep change flip. Basically, we're going to keep the negative 5, 6 as we see it. We're going to change the division to a multiplication problem. And we're going to flip the 1 20 over 24 into 24 over 1. Okay? Um, so, simplify. We're going to look for things that go into each other. 5 and 1 have nothing to do with each other, but 6 does go into 24. <sighs> 6 goes into 24, 6 goes into itself one time, it goes into 24 four times, and just multiply straight across. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20 over 1, um, and which can be written as negative 20 itself. Okay, so that one's done. Uh, honestly, I'm fine with that. I, either way, uh, I am completely fine with either one of those answers. Uh, this one right here, let's go ahead and switch it. Uh, so it's a division. So the first thing I want to do, I want to notice there's a negative divided by a negative. So the final answer is going to be uh, positive because a negative divided by a negative is positive. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel those out. Um, also, let's go ahead and turn it into an improper fraction. So 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 makes that 16 over 3 divided by 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 <coughs> makes that 12 over 5. Let's keep change flip. 16 over 3 times 5 over 12. All right, this one's not as obvious, um, but I can reduce because 16 and 12 have 4 in common. Uh, basically, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 3 is 9. Um, so that's fine. But you could also write that as 2 and 2 ninths. Either way, it's fine. Um, that being said, uh, let's say, just to give you an example, you did not see the, the simplification. And you went ahead and multiplied through. 16 times 5 is 80. Uh, 3 times 12 is 36. Say you did this. I would still want you to notice, OK, I can simplify both these problems. Say you can just notice that they're divisible by 2 because uh, they're even. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 36 divided by 2 is 18. It's still divisible by 2. 20 over 9. If that's easier for you, so be it. Uh, but I really, really strongly suggest trying to do this because you're going to see it a lot more often than you will numbers like this because sometimes you get they're divisible by like 17 or something. Anyways, this video is done. I hope you go out and do some math. I'm not going to scare you today. See you later. If I can get this to stop.